What's up, everyone? I'm going to give you a Tuesday treat considering Halloween is coming soon. And let's get tomorrow's Champions League video out today. So we'll start with the early kickoffs. Bruges v Porto. Bruges, top of the group, seven goals, zero against. When I said they beat Leverkusen earlier in the competition, I was laughed at. Um, I've been sort of against them in more recent games, but really glad to see the Belgian side doing well, uh, doing self justice, and a really good chance now, as you know, only one point needed to have Billy to secure top spot and be into the last 16. Whereas Porto coming off of that defeat to Benfica, they still have a good chance of going through as runners up. But I think this could be a draw. And I'm going to say nil-nil. We then got Inter against Pluzen. Inter could have easily beaten Barca uh, at the new camp. I don't know why I've been backing Barca so much in this season's Champions League. The money just covered the cracks. But Inter, let's talk about how great they are. Barella having his best goal-scoring season already. Um, they beat Fiorentina 4-3 on the weekend with that 95th-minute Mkhitaryan goal. His first for the club. And we know how good Lautaro Martinez is. Um, I really like Inter Milan. Really glad that they got a really good chance of going through to the knockout stages. And I think they're going to win this game 4-1. Then we move on to Napoli. Probably my favourite side to watch on moment they beat Roma on the weekend 1-0 um Ossian with that fantastic goal and they need to win to make sure they stay at least three points ahead of Liverpool before that trip to Anfield next week yes they beat Liverpool 4-1 so a really good chance of progressing um as winners of group A uh might sound insane uh, insane but considering how Poor Rangers have been. I'm going to say 5-0 Napoli. Ajax v Liverpool. I got called out for saying Liverpool would beat Ajax 2-1 um, last time these two sides played. And they'd have been really inconsistent in the league and have just lost to Nottingham Forest. But considering what Salah did last week to Rangers, yes, Ajax a better side than Rangers. But I still think Liverpool could win this. And as much as I want to say 2-2, I'm going to say 3-2 Liverpool. Atletico v Leverkusen. This could be a snooze fest. Both teams with only two goals in their four Champions League games this season. Atletico beat Betis on the weekend and Leverkusen drew against Wolfsburg. Um, both teams will have a chance to progress to the last 16, uh, considering how tight uh, this group is. And I think I'm going to say a 1-0 Atletico Madrid home win. Barca v Bayern. Gonna stop making mistakes about um, you know Barca. You know, they look like they're going to head for the Europa League. And we know how great Bayern Munich are. They won four out of four in this group. They're going to want to make it five out of five. And I think despite being away from home, I'm going to say 3-1 win for Bayern. Tottenham v Sporting. So Spurs lost to Manchester United and Newcastle. They need a good European night to lift their spirits. And as we know, they lost 2-0 in Lisbon. They're on seven points. Marseille on six, Sporting on six, Frankfurt on four. So it's a really tight group. But I'm going to give Spurs the benefit of the doubt and say a 2-0 home win. Then Frankfurt v Marseille. Marseille lost to Lons on the weekend. Now nine points off first in Liga. Their confidence taking a hit. They've had three losses in a row, but they know if they have a good result here and they host Spurs next week, they still have it in their hands to progress in the Champions League after beating Sporting twice. So I think despite Frankfurt being fourth in the Bundesliga, I'm going for a 1-1 hard-fought draw. Let me know your thoughts.